Hey, Shalom. First, we'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Racha Chodash. We'd like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do well. Peace and salutations to the elect, the hopeful elect, and the one third, pushing this 100% truth across the four winds so we can see the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, uh, I was just going on, um, uh, Daily Mail, okay, which is a, a beautiful app I'd, um, suggest for brothers. And there's an article, okay, th there's an article that just came out and it says, 9-11 terror attack accomplice walks free after 12 years in prison. Man who helped plotters as they planned atrocities is released from German jail ahead of de deportation to native Morocco. Hey, brothers, hey, Esau, Esau's got some up his sleeve, man. Okay. Here it is. This, uh, this, uh, terrorist. All right. Because the, the world believes that 9-11, okay, was, uh, uh, set out and done by, uh, uh, Amen. Muslim Amen. extremists, right? Terrorists, right? So the world believes that. So now as a speaking, uh, uh um, on a worldly level, okay. Esau, all right, he, hey man, this devil, he's planning something, all right, because, uh, this, this, um, this Arab was supposed to serve 15 years, okay, see, he was supposed to serve 15 years and he got released early, all right, this is a perfect, this is, this is a perfect breadcrumb, uh, to lay out, right, for people to skim past, see, like your every day, and then bam, something major happens, and there you go, you got yourself, what, a 9-11 2.0, man, yep. Okay, Esau, the so-called white man, uh, whatever you want to call it, the elites, um, the Illuminati, the secret society, deep state, the government. the government. All right, they have something planned, man. Okay, the so-called white man, Esau of the Bible, who is the wicked that the earth was given to, has something planned, man. Okay, and we're not ignorant of that. All right, read that, brother. This is the book of Saint Isaiah, thirty-two and seven. The instruments also of the churl are evil. Right. Now, if you go into that word instrument, it goes all the way even into a, a, a instrument for war, man. Okay. Now, the ultimate instrument uh, uh, of Esau that is evil is going to be the RFID chip. But you know what else uh, instruments that Esau uses for his uh, his uh, uh, dominance and deceiving? Uh, d uh, um, deception is your media, your Internet, your phones. All right now, oh, it is so convenient that uh, a couple, not even a couple weeks ago, you just had a national alert from your president, yep. right, of a of a of a, pr a trial run. All it all now, hey, now all they got to do is text your phone and uh, uh, um, a terrorist attack. Yep. You see, read that again. Saint Isaiah thirty two and verse seven. The instruments also of the churl are evil. Yeah, the instruments of the churl. Okay. The low down dirty Edomites, the scoundrels, okay, the devils, the the, the wicked root, right? right? Okay, are evil, okay. And when you really go into the word evil, it goes into a bad time. Yep. You see, so Esau's got some uh, some instruments planned for a bad time. And in layman's terms, a false flag, brothers. Okay, be prepared for for a uh, 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 major false flags that happen in Babylon, and, and also, of course, you're gonna have. Uh, 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 troops invade, but you got to remember at the end of the day, this, this is a, uh, this is the, uh, elites doing, okay? This isn't your, your, uh, just your government. This is the, the bankers, okay? The, the people behind the scenes, the, the, the ones that are richer than the people that are put in Fortune 500, uh, uh magazines and buildings, okay? And running those companies. We're talking about the ones that they go to for a loan, okay? Read that again. Say Isaiah 32 and 7. The instruments also of the churl are evil. Mm -hmm. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. He devises wicked devices. The ultimate wicked device is going to be the RFID chip, okay? Mm -hmm. The ultimate wicked device that Esau is going to use is the chip. But right now, what's he What's he doing, man? He's going to uh, use this uh, uh, to um, demonize the true men of the Lord. Going to uh, false uh, do a false flag. Hey, the first flag in America was... Uh, Esau in the Boston Tea Party, and who did he use? Yeah. Gad, so-called Native Americans. You see, so he dressed up as so-called Native Americans. Right now, you got a a, a, um, a lot of people exposing these uh, real life 
masks of so-called black men that so-called white men are walking around it. Oh, you had an Edomite get arrested for robbing a bank looking like a Jake. He he had Jake, uh, uh, if you will, Jake um, features. All right. And he robbed a bank uh, portraying himself as a black man. You see, you got something called blackface. Yep. All right. So don't, don't don't be surprised that Esau uses his uh, uh, his TV, okay, his CGI, all right. These are the things you have to uh, um, uh, be prepared for, okay, because you got to think about it. The, the uh, we we are to remain spiritual. Can you give me that in Second Corinthians real quick? Uh, hold that. Get Second Corinthians, the weapons of our warfare. Ten. It might be First Corinthians, but I believe it's uh, Second. But it's uh, ten and three. You see, we're spiritual. We're, we're not. We're not carnal. So Esau isn't gonna. He's not gonna uh, catch a brother. Yeah, he's not gonna catch a brother doing some carnal shit. So he's got to. He's gonna have to demonize him. So it's very convenient that a 9/11 terrorist gets released of all years with the big uh, uh, swing of what you have. Uh, uh, um, black identity extremists. Here it is. You got the first ever black identity extremist, Rakim Bolagon. And he's got a movement called Gorilla Mind Frame, and they push an acronym of GMF. Hey, man, hey, you can't do nothing against the truth before it, man. Okay? Our, our eyes are open to the uh, devices, all right, of the wicked ones, man. Okay, read that real quick. It's a book of uh, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the, after the flesh. Verse 4. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yeah, carnal means the flesh. Okay, what is a weapon carnally? A knife, a gun, a stabbing instrument, a blunt object. Okay, those are those are weapons. Okay, that that's a weapon for for the flesh, meaning you carry it and you use it in the flesh. Though, but our weapons are not carnal. Our weapons are not of this world. Okay, because we have we have a weapon. Okay, uh, uh, that we utilize, and that's called prayer. All right, prayer is is our weapon spiritually. You see, because we're spiritual men. We carry ourselves in a spiritual manner. This is why Esau is going to have to uh, uh, set something up. He's going to have to demonize us. Yeah. All right. And you're going to also have uh, people uh, that are Israel demonize us as well. It's it, it's very uh, convenient that you had uh, Nate calling out the government names of the apostles. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. It's very convenient that you have um, uh, Sakari uh, did a live lesson, uh, if you will, lesson, if you want to call it. Our live show, all right, called uh, GMS is a black identity, uh, our black identity extremist. How convenient. And then he goes through a whole hour, all right, uh, of, of snippets, okay, of, of men reading the scriptures, breaking it down what the scripture says, but he's, he's uh, uh, trying to build a case, basically, trying to put an evil eye uh, on people. Stumbling blocks. Stumbling blocks, right. Demonize them. Yep. He's trying to demonize them, you see? This is all, we're living in the, in the season of persecution, the season of Satan's devices, all right? And, and soon the hour of temptation, man. The, these are the days we're living in. Things are turning up, man, all right? So we got we to gotta, uh, uh, roll accordingly, man, all right? Like in a football game, man, you, can, you got fatigue, man. You have to step out. You got to be spiritually hydrated, all right? And it says, but mighty, though you have about small shy to the... Uh, to the point down with strongholds. Yep. Now go to uh, Corinth, uh, Satan's devices. Yep. All right. This is the book of Second Corinthians two and verse eleven. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. Yep. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. Now, when you go into that word devices, it, it goes into your your thoughts. Okay. Pretty much a spiritual battle because Satan's going to try to uh, sift you. Because one thing Sakari kept saying in the whole video was that we were afraid and we had no faith. And I noticed that. And I was like, oh, he's got a, he's got a, a, the demons on him that he's trying to put spells on brothers. He's trying to, because you, you go into the word spell, man, and it's just a, 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 a on clock. Yep. What did you say, brother? A set of words. Yeah, a set of words. It's a set of words used to uh, put a, put a bug in your ear, if you will. Like when somebody says, oh, he got a battery in his back. And when somebody comes up and whispers something in their ear and then they go ballistic, that was a spell, you see? Or when somebody says something, all right, uh, that's a, he's trying to put a spell on you, man. A rumor. A rumor, right. That, so him saying that we don't got faith, uh, we're afraid, hey, man, he's trying to, trying to fester something up. See, see you, brother, we gotta, you got to realize that we truly are in a spiritual 
battle, man. All right. And, and, and Satan's using uh, uh, all of his army. All right. And Sakari, you're one of them. Oh, yeah. Cause he said that uh, we got, uh, um, he says Satan's using us. <laughs> oh, man. This dude's delusional, man. Uh, this guy's truly delusional. Oh, and then they were also, uh, big enough. Uh, he made this statement. He said, how come you say, uh, you, you, uh, he was like saying great millstone. They, um, uh, they, um, praise or big up the Maccabees, you know, they speak on, you know, the revolt, but they say they don't do that for Sakari, the, the original Sakari mm -hmm. when they were the band of, of rebellious zealots. The assassin priests and shit like that. Right. Yeah. But the, this is why. This is why, nigga. Okay. Because M Maccabees was before Yahweh Shai. Sakari was after. We, 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 we are to be spiritual. Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, taught that. Paul, the disciples. Right? Yep. You see, that's what the difference is, man. But when you're dealing with these demons, these these uh, false prophets, these uh, wolves in sheep clothing, that all they want is your pocketbook. They just want your money. All right? They just want to uh, cause controversy and drama. All right? That, that's where you see the difference, man. Because they, they have a very rebellious spirit. But 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 it, you you see a, a pattern, man. Yep. Okay? Of... of, of um, uh, men speaking uh, uh, rhetoric, slander, and lies, all right, ag uh, against uh, uh, the men of Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right, these are the times we're living in, brothers, okay? So, uh, like my boy, uh, uh, what the hell is his name? Is <laughs> that my boy? Remember he said, be prepared, you know that? Uh, um, my boy, uh, Scar, man. <laughs> Fucking Scar, oh, I like it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Hey, you got to be prepared, man, to be turned on, to be portrayed, all right? Why do you think the scriptures say that uh, the house of David is being rebuilt and the breaches are being closed, man? Mm -hmm. Sifting season, all right? But with these breaches closing, you people ain't going to be able to get to us when the door of grace closes, you know? Just because we're walking and being meek now don't mean we're going to be meek later. Scriptures say that I've sent for many fishers. We ain't hunters yet. Uh, read that. It's uh, Romans, I'm going to slide that down, finish Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah 32 and verse 7, and it says... Even when the needy speak of the right, yeah. but the lip, oh, that was it. Oh, read it from the top again. Uh, Isaiah 32 and 7. The instruments also of the churl are evil. Yeah. He, de he, he devises a wicked devices to destroy the poor uh, 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 with lying words. With lying words. These are terrorists. They've been plotting. Hey, we got uh, we gotta have to do a sit down and movie Eagle Eye, man. Cool. You uh, know, prime uh, example. You see time and time again movies where Esau... Uh, demonizing somebody in the whole states after him. Will Smith, enemy, enemy of the state. Yep. Prime example. You see? Where all they got to, oh, how many times has Esau show government movies where they have a fall guy? You watch the movie, um, Long Kiss Goodnight with Samuel Jackson. As they are tied up, they eat the government Edomite. I think, I believe he was FBI. He said, uh, he said, how are you going to get a, uh, Samuel Jackson? He said, how are you going to get away with killing all these innocent people? He said, well, load up a van full of explosive and blame it on an A-Rap. Just like that, bro. Just like that. Lord's will, we have to pull that up, man. Do a lesson on that. You see? So, hey, man, we, hey, we, we, we see what's up, man. These are the times we are living in, man. All right. So you gotta, uh, uh, you gotta be spiritually prepared. All right. You also have to be prepared. Okay. To have faith in, uh, uh the men that you've been learning from. Because to believe in uh, uh, Yahweh Bashem Shai, you have to believe in their, uh, his men. And to believe in the apostles as the men that, uh, that Yahweh Bashem Shai set up, you have, to, you have to also have faith in, in his men, the, the men under them. The fruit. The fruit. The fruit. Because soon the fruit is going to be labeled as a toxic. Soon the fruit is going to be labeled poisonous. All right? The, meaning these men are going to be demonized. So brothers also have to have faith when Esau starts demonizing these men. All right, that you don't uh, fall victim to uh, uh, believe in it. Yep. You see, now get Corinth, the, the eight Satan's devices, and then we'll, the fissures, and then you get your precept. The book of Second Corinthians two and verse eleven: Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant. For, for we are not ignorant of his devices. There you go. Now get your precept, brother. You see, so so we can't allow Satan to get advantage of us when brothers get demonized and allow him to mess with our brain and make us think that this is true. You know. That's what you, you have to uh, um, continue to uh, uh, meditate and uh, pray to have spiritual endurance for. The scriptures, Yahweh Shai said, man, the, the world hate you, is, it hated me first, man. You got to be prepared for the world to hate us. The people hated Ishmael after 9-11, man. You know, people hated Ishmael after 9-11. And it just, it's, it's so uh, uh, 
it, it, it's so uh, convenient, as, as you know, they say in the world, how a terrorist gets out early after one of the most uh, known as the biggest terror attack in American mm -hmm. history, right? Because you can't, you can't uh, count 1492, you can't count 1619, you can't count 1831. You see what I'm saying? You can't count these these things, all right? Which, uh, but but here it is. Uh, you can uh, uh, say that 9/11 was the worst thing that happened in American history, and then on top of that, uh, one of the known uh, assailants for this atrocity is set free early. Oh, oh, and then on top of that. He gets. He's a native to Morocco, North Africa. Come on, and then the the the, the, the black identity extremist, Pan African. Oh man. man, hey brothers, you gonna be demonized <laughs> for for being black? Yep. All right. That's this is. Hey man, it's gonna be a real minority report, man. Okay. Esau's getting ready to make his move, brothers. All right. You got some. Get a couple more. We gonna end it. We just wanted to do a quick update, man. Hey, we are not ignorant. Uh, of, of Esau's the wickedness, man. Right. All right, we 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 see it a mile away coming, man. Okay, brothers, be prepared for some kind of 9/11 false flag 2.0, and that's all America is, is uh, sitting on right now. They're sitting on one one last one last uh, uh doop, and that's it, man. Like a loose tooth, you know. It's uh, Romans 12:19, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, say the Lord, you have shot. That's right. See, we and we we hearken to these scriptures, okay? Because that, that's a commandment. It says that the vengeance is the most high. And we understand that and know that and we teach that, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. So we don't we're not seeking vengeance on a carnal level, but we're gonna be demonized as doing so. You see? But that's cool because we know those are blessings, man. All right. But Esau just know that we know, all right. And no matter what is done, you got, you're going to have to see us again because as, as you people all know, of what you know as heaven will be played out upon earth and the rulers of the kingdom of heaven are going to be so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, all right? So, so Esau can do whatever he wants to do on this side, but he's going to have to deal with us for what's going to feel like eternity, man, okay? Read what you got. St. Matthew 10 and verse uh, I start 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Yep. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right, see? We're, we're wise as serpents, harmless as doves, and being sheep, man. All right? We ain't going out marching. Right. We're not pushing a military vibration. You know? We're not training and do. Oh, we're not going to camp with knives, with daggers. daggers. You see? You know, we, we go out, preach the word, go home, go to work. That what what, what you know? Yes. We're meek. You know, we esteem to be meek. We're not being esteemed to be seen of men either. You see? But soon that's what's gonna play out, man. See you you ABC camps, you're gonna really uh, understand what you're involved in. Cause right now you don't understand. Cause if you did, you never would have signed that contract either, man. You never would have in indulged yourself in a 501c3. You never would indulge yourself with getting uh, paid for views, advertisement, sponsors. and sponsors for your YouTube channels. All right. These are the things if you understood what you're involved in. Hey, because we get channels uh, d deleted, man. But you, you're, you're, you're trying to build something here, man. All right. We're, we're, we're building something that can't be seen. Right. You see? And you, you, you Israelites, you ABC camps out there, you're in, in the coming days, you're going to be ashamed, man. You're going to be ashamed of yourselves, man. All right? In the, in the days and the times that we're living in, where we're going to be humiliated, where we're going to be uh, looked at and demonized and, and uh, um, having a ridicule upon us, all right? And you think you got away scot-free, just know that, hey, you are an Israelite, but you're going to be in the kingdom of heaven loathing yourselves, man. All right? All you sellouts, okay? The, all you that are partaking uh, in the baptism of the elect, man. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Read that, brother. Verse seven, Matthew 10 and 17. But beware of men, uh, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Yeah. And ye shall be brought before governors and, the, and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. There you go, man. You see? So we know we're going to be brought forth. We know this. All right? But but the masses don't know this, man. Yeah. All right? 
the, the masses aren't going to un- understand what's going on. This is why they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Right. You see? Hey, but brothers, man, don't be ignorant of Esau's devices, man. All right? Uh, Esau's wicked plans, okay? His media manipulation, you see? the the, the uh, uh, He's going to use any and everything to uh, uh, pretty much put a, a target on us, man. Okay? And that we're going to be enemies number one, okay? And, and, and brothers got to continue to uh, watch, pray, and fast, man. All right? Because our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. All right? So we got to continue to uh, pray to endure until the end and pray to continue to have the ha ha kodash upon us, man. Okay? So Lord's will, you brothers, are edified through the Spirit as we were. We just want to say, Ka hala, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash. With that being said, Shalom.